Here are 10 technology trends that can help build a resilient society after the pandemic, as well as considerations about their effects on how we do business, trade, work, produce goods, learn, medical services, and how we entertain ourselves. COVID-19 has transformed online shopping from a nice-to-have to a must-have around the world. Some bars have even continued to offer happy hours through online orders and delivery. Online shopping needs to be supported by a robust logistics system. In-person delivery is not virus-proof. Many delivery companies and restaurants are launching contactless delivery services where goods are picked up and dropped off at a designated location, instead of from or into the hands of a person. However, before robot delivery services become prevalent, delivery companies need to establish clear protocols to safeguard the sanitary condition of delivered goods. Telehealth can be an effective way to contain the spread of COVID-19 while still providing essential primary care. Wearable personal IoT devices can track vital signs. Chatbits can make initial diagnoses based on symptoms identified by patients. However, in countries where medical costs are high, it's important to ensure telehealth will be covered by insurance. Telehealth also requires a certain level of tech literacy to operate, as well as a good internet connection. And as medical services are one of the most heavily regulated businesses, doctors typically can only provide medical care to patients who live in the same jurisdiction. Regulations, at the time they were written, may not have envisioned a world where telehealth would be available. Cash might carry the virus, so central banks have implemented various measures to ensure banknotes are clean before they go into circulation. Now, contactless digital payments, either in the form of cards or e-wallets, are the recommended payment method to avoid the spread of COVID-19. Digital payments enable people to make online purchases and payments of goods, services, and even utility payments, as well as to receive stimulus funds faster. The COVID-19 pandemic has created disruptions to the global supply chain. With distancing and quarantine orders, some factories are completely shut down. While demand for food and personal protective equipment soar, some countries have implemented different levels of export bans on those items. Heavy reliance on paper-based records, a lack of visibility on data, and lack of diversity and flexibility have made existing supply chain systems vulnerable to any pandemic. Core technologies of the fourth industrial revolution, such as big data, cloud computing, Internet of Things, and blockchain, are building a more resilient supply chain management system for the future by enhancing the accuracy of data and encouraging data sharing. 3D printing technology has been deployed to mitigate shocks to the supply chain and export bans on personal protective equipment. 3D printing offers flexibility in production. The same printer can produce different products based on different design files and materials, and simple parts can be made on-site quickly, without requiring a lengthy procurement process and a long wait for the shipment to arrive. However, massive production using 3D printing faces a few obstacles. First, there may be intellectual property issues involved in producing parts that are protected by patent. Second, the production of certain goods, such as surgical masks, is subject to regulatory approvals, which can take a long time to obtain. Other unsolved issues include how design files should be protected under patent regimes, the place of origin and impact on trade volumes and product liability associated with 3D printed products. Many companies have asked employees to work from home. Remote work is enabled by technologies including virtual private networks, voice over internet protocols. Many companies have asked employees to work from home. Remote work is enabled by technologies including virtual private networks, voice over internet protocols, virtual meetings, cloud technology, work collaboration tools, and even facial recognition technologies that enable a person to appear before a virtual background to preserve the privacy of the home. In addition to preventing the spread of viruses, remote work also saves commute time and provides more flexibility. Yet remote work also imposes challenges to employers and employees. Information security, privacy, and timely tech support can be big issues, as revealed by recent class actions filed against Zoom. Remote work can also complicate labor law issues, such as those associated with providing a safe work environment and income tax issues. Employees may experience loneliness and a lack of work-life balance. 
If remote work becomes more common after the COVID-19 pandemic, employers may decide to reduce lease costs and hire people from regions with cheaper labor costs. Although quarantine measures have reduced in-person interactions significantly, human creativity has brought the party online. Cloud raves and online streaming of concerts have gained traction around the world. Chinese film production companies also released films online. Museums and international heritage sites offer virtual tours. There has also been a surge of online gaming traffic since the outbreak. COVID-19 makes the world realize how heavily we rely on human interactions to make things work. Labor-intensive businesses, such as retail, food, manufacturing, and logistics, are the worst hit. COVID-19 provided a strong push to roll out the usage of robots and research on robotics. In recent weeks, robots have been used to disinfect areas and to deliver food to those in quarantine. Drones have walked dogs and delivered items. While there are some reports that predict many manufacturing jobs will be replaced by robots in the future, at the same time, new jobs will be created in the process. Policies must be in place to provide sufficient training and social welfare to the labor force to embrace the change. As of mid-April, 191 countries announced or implemented school or university closures, impacting 1.57 billion students. Many educational institutions started offering courses online to ensure education was not disrupted by quarantine measures. Technologies involved in distant learning are similar to those for remote work and also include virtual reality, augmented reality, 3D printing, and artificial intelligence-enabled robot teachers. Concerns about distance learning include the possibility the technologies could create a wider divide in terms of digital readiness and income level. Distance learning could also create economic pressure on parents more often women who need to stay home to watch their children and may face decreased productivity at work. All the aforementioned technology trends rely on stable, high-speed, and affordable internet. While 5G has demonstrated its importance in remote monitoring and healthcare consultation, the rollout of 5G is delayed in Europe at the time when the technology may be needed the most. The adoption of 5G will increase the cost of compatible devices and the cost of data plans. Addressing these issues to ensure inclusive access to the Internet will continue to be a challenge as the 5G network expands globally. For more top 5, top 10 and amazing inventions you must see will be revived on this channel, please subscribe to our channel Tech District.